Hello everyone, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dragon News Studios. I am your host, of course. And today, we are going to be checking out something awesome. And no, it's not this. No, it's... It, it's... It's not. Okay, that's weird. Anyways, we're going... What we're going to be doing... We are going to go to this portal. Because there is something big, something awesome behind it. So, sorry about that. So, let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to. Chardax's castle. Or as it being known as the Castle of the Dread King. As you can see, this place is just massive. I am so happy with the final results. This looks just Let's see if we get As you can see, this just looks incredible. I mean, wow. I, again, I am just so satisfied. I'm so happy with this. This looks amazing. This looks, this looks incredible. And plus the mon the deal with the monsters, it just adds to the plot to the roster of this place. As you can see, he's as you can see there's all these guys down here. Yep. And of course you would have of course there are these guys just hanging out, doing their thing. Yeah this is actually how it would it would look. These guys be walking around, and so if, any, if they see anyone that to, that is coming across, they would just do their thing and just shoot them or something. But yeah, this this that looks very good, and of course you got the lava. So yeah, you gotta be careful. They have to be careful when they're climbing up the ladders, or burn and die. Of course, you got the Ender Giants. I call them Ender Giants because, as you can see, so what we are going to do is we're going to break into this force field, and we're going to take a cl closer look inside the castle of the Dread King. There, there we go. And as you can see, he's got these statues of withers. Golems. And here, this, my friends, this giant, the, and they call the Statue of the Dread Beast. As you can see, this is basically Chardax in his true form, in his be in the Dread Beast form. He's got these three tails, two wing, two small wings, two big wings, four legs, four arms. And these uh, these things would be the little, would be the little arms. He would have six eyes and four horns. And of course, a mouthful of razor sharp teeth, and plus, he is absolutely huge. So yeah, now that you got now that you got a good idea on how he looks. Of course, when I do draw him, 
a magic gun, the little crown piece in the drawing that I showed you guys before. Yeah, that's going to be taken off and replaced with these. So, yeah, he basically looks like something from Pacific Rim. Which is an awesome movie, and yes, I saw Pacific Rim Uprising, I thought it was great. Yeah, and we're going to go down this hall, go through here, and wait, there's something off about this door. It's not usable. Yeah, Chardex basically creates the illusion that in this, this is, in this place, it's basically his freaking domain. He's the boss around here. No one else, anyone that, anyone that, that, that doesn't agree to that, it won't be around to argue. And of course, you got this little nice stand with the fires and everything. And I'm using the Skyrim uh, uh, map mashup, which I think it really works. Because I mean, these guys, they're not. They may look they may look like zombie pigs, but they really aren't. They are the Dremora. She got the windows. See if you look closely, you can see up you can see the lava flowing down there. And everything. And of course you have these blank staring faces there. Again, these guys aren't going to bother us. They're not going to bother us. We are fine. Because we're we're in creative mode, not survival mode. If, the, if we were in survival mode, e yeah. And these guys are orcs. Yeah, yeah, those guys, yeah, they're orcs. Interesting. And of course you have that, you have that, little brewing stand. Now, as we enter here, this is the maze. Same thing as the first one, but this one is a lot, is a lot more of a labyrinth than anything else. And plus, um, there's some guys walking around here, so basically we give the player um, much harder time finding the right place. Now, I really wish that there was a way where I could make this Hydra more active. But yeah, basically, this is Chardax's hy pet Hydra. And as you can see, this thing is just absolutely massive. It's got these three tails, legs. It was actually pretty easy to build. And also, I use this doesn't have doesn't have it on the actual one, but this basically allows the mouse to move. You put the you basically put the stone, you basically put the block, what you want, put the fire stone torch, redstone torch, and there you go. Now they now they're flapping their gums. And as you can see, I created the illusion that the hydra is basically blasting a huge, powerful blast of fire. Like, basically, again, you gotta be careful. And also, plus, there's guys around here. Yep, there's one there. There's one there. There's a bunch of them down here. So, I think that, that adds to the that's the intensity of this part. Like, can you imagine this in a game? It, if I if I made the game, it would definitely be something like this. It'd be very aggravating, but once you get to the end, you will have a door. Open it. You have the main hall, part of the main hall. We go in here, and this, my friends, is Zon's lab. Yeah. 
as you can see, he's got these mechanical arms that I can't. I think I see them like elevated, like they go like you you see in any games where the machine arms come up and down. He's got his little tape. He's got his table, his experimenting table. He's got the brewing, the chanters. He's basically got the material he needs to like do his experiments. And then of course he's got this like. Um, his beam cannon. So if anyone is stupid enough to try to come in here, you can just stand behind the push button. <laughs> that person would basically be obliterated. And the beacon here is basically used as a as a source of power for him. It's like a fuel that create that creates a barrier around the castle. So yeah, looks very laboratory-ish, wouldn't you agree? I mean, it's definitely bigger than the last one, that's for sure. I'm definitely more satisfied with this. This definitely looks like, this looks like a freaking lab. Okay, so I'm just going to close that. And we go through here, and this, my friends, is Razul's room. As you can see, he's got the skulls of the people he has killed. All pinned, all pinned up and lined up. And such. And of course you have the heads of all the dragons he has killed. Yes, he killed, he killed his own kind because Razul isn't exactly a dragon. He's a manifestation of darkness. In the form of a dragon. And of course, yeah, this would be his bed. Got this guy doing his thing. So I'm gonna close that. And of course, you got the mirror. So if he sees you, you're done for. And you got this guy doing his thing. Oh, and uh, also this is the symbol of Dread, the Dread Empire, it's basically Charix's face. And these stones represent his followers that are still alive. This one is Zon, this one's Razul, this one's Hakira, and this one is Destroyer. The burnt ones are either dead or betrayed members. Like, one of them would definitely be Lorak. Um, his son isn't qualified as a Dreadlord, he's more like heir to the throne kind of thing. Now if we enter here, this would, this was originally Lorak's room, but as you can see, it is destroyers now because of all the snow and all the ice, because Destroyers basically likes, like, Mr. Freeze. He needs to keep his body cold. I mean, he needs to keep it cold, but he doesn't need to keep it cold at the same time. Because he's not exactly an ice man. He's more like a... More, kind of more like a husk. But he does rely on ice as a source of power. Also, this was originally Lord Ark's room. Because of this and everything, I'm just gonna. Damn it! There we go. And I don't blame them again. They ain't gonna bother us. And this is the prison hall, prison, the Tower of Prisoners. And slash the torture room. Where Charx basically captures, captures his, uh, captures slave, captures people and turns them into slaves to serve under his cause. 
basically breaks them and everything. Got all these guys doing their thing. These guys would basically be like the guards. Got cages there. Now there's one that I want to show you guys because this is a uh, one at the very top is a very special one. Go up, 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 right here. This, my friends, is the cage that Lordok was trapped in when um, he when uh, he betrayed Chardax. Chardax basically captured him and had him sit up here for over five years. So yeah, it's pretty intense, and he even has a window where he can like look outside. Everything. Yeah. It's a pretty big cage. Sorry about that, everyone. Anyways, and of course, yeah, this pretty big cage. All right. And so we're gonna drop, and drop. Nothing else to see there, just cages and cages beyond cages. I just wanted to show you that one. All right, so we exit there. Now you guys are wondering, where's Chardex's thing? Well, you probably saw it a while ago, but I'll show it to you again. Now, I uploaded this and everything, but the thing is, is that the, um, the video stopped. But anyways, now this here is actually something that he would do. He basically put a force field around the door with magic and everything. And, well, of course, for now, what we're going to do is that we're going to... Destroy part of it. There we go. Well, you can't really do that, but still. Alright. Now this one is interesting. Got this big room. Climb up. Just continue climbing. But then... You have this thing going on. Basically, Charx basically smashed the sp he smashed the other he smashed he smashed the stairs and then had to be levitated. Well, you know, you get the idea. And there's a guy there. Stairs there. Alright, see if we can. There we go. And over here, I don't mind him. Here is Chardax's room. Here you have his throne, his bed, and the balcony. Which you basically, well, Jarx is, uh, he's 12 feet tall, so he's probably like, well, he's probably like somewhere around like that big, so he'd be a pretty big dude. But, so if things go wrong, or if he senses an intruder, what he'll do is what I'm about to show you. Yeah, he'll literally fly towards his towards the enemy. Yep. So, I mean, I I know some parts are a little off here and there, 
but overall I'm pretty happy with the results. And of course you have the wall, the giant fortress wall looking style. I tend to add more to this place. Well, not to the castle, but like around it. See if we can get back into well, a little close enough. Yeah, Chardax's castle, or the castle of the Dread King. It's pretty awesome. I'm very happy with. It. I'm very, very happy. Again, I'm very happy with the results. With the final results, is. This look just looks incredible. And everything. I am very, very happy with the final results. This just looks awesome. This is how I imagine Charx's castle looking. This is his castle. This is his place. This is his room. And plus, I really like this this Skyrim look because I really like this this art this texture. It does look. I think it definitely screams out. This is Chardax's realm. Even though it's technically the Nether, just different colors. Still. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I think personally I freaking I freaking love it. I think it looks incredible. It just looks so good. And again, this is how I imagine his castle looking like. The other one, uh, which is, I would consider that more of a prototype. This is the castle of the Dread King. And again, I, I love the fog and how it covers the cat, how it covers this tower. So if we back up, 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 back up. As you can see, it slowly starts to fade along with parts of it so you won't so the person you can't even see at this distance you can't even see the tower but you can see that big beam of power now I plan to probably um, see if I could reduce all of this and make it look like like the castle is again flooding off the ground but, uh, it's a little tricky, but it can be done. It can be done. Just like, yeah, basically it will look just like this. Now I'm going to probably take the time to probably destroy all this land and have it look as so like it's levitating off the ground. Which would be a little tricky, but it can be done. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Comment, like, share, and of course, subscribe for more of these awesome contents. And also, if you guys are wondering, I, yes, I spent, I spent hours working on this, on my days off and everything, but wow. Again, totally worth every minute of it. It looks incredible. So yeah, let me know what, you, again, let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you all later. Peace!